Hello everyone. Today I will show you how you can configure the Vault Eclipse plugin in your Eclipse instance. Okay, so as we are aware that uh, Vault Eclipse plugin is used to sync the content between your Eclipse and uh, your content repository, or you can say between content repository and your file system. And uh, as in my previous video, I already shown you that uh, there is another plugin, AIM plugin, which you can also use to sync the content between your repository and your file system. Uh, but Vault plugin is also uh, a tool by which you can do the same. So let's see how you can configure Vault Eclipse in your uh, Eclipse instance and can sync the data. So let's move. So the first step is that uh, you need to uh, locate uh, your file vault. Actually, file vault uh, file file vault uh, plugin comes uh, by default with your CRX instance. So you just need to extract that file vault, which comes uh, in form of zip and PG chat file. So based on your environment. So let me share you that uh, environment link. Okay, so uh, if you go to your CRX uh, quick start, just go to OPT, then you will see there is one file vault folder is present. You just need to extract uh, that zip file. You will see that uh, there is a vault uh, related all the libraries and all the binary files are there. So what you need to do is once you extract this file, you need to set the environment variable okay so what you need to do is you just copy this part go to your environment variables like this just go to path variable click on edit just go at the end and uh, copy this path and add semicolon okay and just press ok actually I have already set it up so I will just uh, I'm just showing you that how you can uh, set the path once you're done with it, you can check whether your uh, Vault plugin Vault uh, is running on your uh, system or not. So the command is Vault help. Yep. So this command will show you. Yeah. Now it is run. So this command is shown you that uh, your uh, file vault is configured in your path variables. Okay, and it is available for use. So the next step for this. Uh, now we have closed the second step that we have uh, set the path variable and uh, we have checked the installation using command prompt. Okay. So the thing is that uh, if you are using AM 6.2 or 6.3 the default version comes uh, 3.1 or um, uh, about 2.5 and uh, with uh, uh, this version with this version of vault uh, eclipse doesn't uh, uh, means you can say it doesn't recognize that uh, uh, vault plugin vault configuration so what we need to do is we need to get the lower version vault uh, files okay so you can get e easily from the net or if you are you if you are having 5.6 or 5.5 version then you can get it from uh, the eclipse crx uh, quick start as well okay so let me show you what error you get uh, if you configure this uh, uh, vault which comes by default with 6.3 6.2 okay so to install the vault plugin in eclipse uh, there is two things uh, which are required Okay, now we have set up the vault um, in our uh, through our command prompt that is only uh, for command one. But if you want to install and to configure it through Eclipse, then there are two prerequisites that we have to install in Eclipse. First one is the Eclipse 2.0 style plugin, and second one is Vault Eclipse plugin. Okay, which will execute with uh, Vault Eclipse plugin. What it will do actually, you have installed the uh, vault. Now, Vault Eclipse plugin will provide you an interface by which you can com control the sync, okay, and can use actually that file vault which comes with CRX. Okay, so let's go to your Eclipse instance. So this is my Eclipse instance. So first thing uh, which you need to do is you just go to Help, then go to 
install new software select the drop down you will see here that uh, there are some eclipse project updates you click on it just scroll down go to eclipse test tool example and extras actually i have already installed that style plugin so what you need to do is you will see here one uh, entry like style plugin so you need to just click on that one and click on next and then install it okay so by that way you can install the style plugin so once you finished with, with that installation you what you need to do is you just need to go to eclipse marketplace type uh, vault plugin you can search it uh, with vault only no need to provide it eclipse so you will see here vault eclipse 0.2.4 version you, so you what you need to do is you just need to click on install op, install button actually you have already installed so that's why that install uh, button is not appearing so once you install it just restart your um, eclipse instance and then um, what you need to do is you just go to your preferences okay so you will see one entry vault eclipse if you have successfully installed vault then uh, vault eclipse plugin then you will see this entry here okay and style plugin is required to display this option okay so you just click on vault eclipse so here uh, initially this entry will be blank these two entries okay so what you need to do is you need to provide the vault directory so vault directory is actually the exact uh, location of your vault okay which comes with your crx instance so what we need to do is we need to just provide the path here so my uh, crx is installed here and this is my vault path just not one thing you don't need to provide the path of bin you just need to provide the path of your file vault okay you can provide any temporary directory you just need to cross check your uh, repository url i am running my local instance on 4504 so that's why i have given 4504 so once you click on uh, once you have uh, verified uh, all these entries you just need to click on apply so now you can see here that i am getting one error please correct the directory for vault the current directory is incorrect so this um, as i told you that if you are using the default version which comes in your uh, 6.2 6.3 instance there, there there will be this error okay so to rectify this error what we need to do is we need to copy the file vault from the older version of cq or you can get it from uh, net as well okay so i have uh, uh, downloaded one older plugin that is 2.4.34 okay so what you need to do is you just copy this or you can give this path as well so for the timing i'm just copying this and uh, this is my author instance i'm just pasting here okay so this is my lower version i just need to change my uh, path variable put semicolon press ok then ok then ok fine just close it now go back to your uh, eclipse so what you need to do once you have done that operation you have to restart your eclipse instance okay otherwise it will not recognize whether you have successfully installed that uh, whether that path has been resolved or not okay so what you need to do is you just restart your eclipse instance
so once you you have restarted your eclipse instance so you just need to go back to your window then preferences then uh, we have to change this whole directory so just browse and uh, just go to your directory where you have pasted your new 2.4.3.4 version 3.4 version sorry just click on it and press ok and apply and ok ok so it means now uh, there is no error which we encountered previously when uh, we were using the latest version which comes uh, by default with uh, 6.2 or 6.3 version okay so now we'll see that how you can um, let's sync the content uh, in your repository with your file system okay so let me open one sample file that is uh, like hello world.html which i created here okay so uh, what i will do i will change some text here like uh, upper case okay I will just save it so now if I want to uh, sync this file hello world.html so what I need to do is I will just go to my component my folder I will right click you will see there is one vault eclipse would come in your um, navigation so there you will see uh, basically two operations one is export and second one is import so these export imports work in parallel to CRX okay so here export won't means that you are exporting your content from your file system to AM but actually it's a vice versa exporting means from AM instance you are exporting something and importing means from AM instance you are importing something okay so now in our case what we are doing we are doing vice versa like from AM uh, we are importing something okay so I just need to click on import not export so I will just click on import so now it is showing me the path that what is the JCR path and what is my Eclipse path okay so you just need to click on finish okay now go back to your uh, Eclipse instance sorry uh, your CRXT just close your file just refresh it open your uh, file so now you will see that uh, my text has been changed to uppercase okay now if you want to do uh, the reverse operations uh, like uh, uppercase from CRX and you want to reflect this text in your uh, file system or your in Eclipse instance so you just need to click on save just go back to your uh, eclipse instance right click then vault eclipse and then click on export ok so just press finish just refresh it so now you will see that text has been changed to uppercase from CRX so now we have successfully configured the vault eclipse in our uh, eclipse instance and we can sync the content between file system and your crx repository